Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a little review on a body butter company called Mrs. 82 Company. And I got sent these products um, a little while ago and I was able to test out four of the different body butters and I really, really enjoy these products. I'm gonna tell you what I think about them in a second, but let me just tell you about how I got this little hookup because I mean, my, my channel is growing a little bit, like I'm starting to get my name out there and whatnot and it's really cool so like I'm starting to get brands like emailing me and asking me to like do reviews, which was like the goal and I'm super happy that that's happening. When I was at Virginia Tech, I met a dude named Edward through mutual friends. We stayed in touch like through social media and whatnot. And then he um, texted me recently and was like, I talked to somebody um, who started her own body butter line. Like, would you want to be in touch with her? Like maybe you guys could collaborate or something. Like maybe she'll send you some products. I was like, heck yeah, send me her number. So he put us in contact with each other and she gave me a little insight into her company. So her name is Honor Mark. She started Mrs. 82 Company um, just recently. So she's starting out with whipped body butter um, and some black soap. I'm not sure exactly what she has planned next, but I know that she has some things in store, so just wait on it. Because these products, the initial products that she came out with, are phenomenal. Like, this is just the start of the company, and it's just, it's really impressive, the amount of time and the effort that you could see that she put into this and the formula that she got right like she must have spent so much time perfecting this and it's just it, it you can really tell like it really shows off in the products um like just looking at this packaging like it's just it's so professional here let me turn down my lights so cute like this is the mint obsession so it's green lavender bliss which is purple the sugar rush which is brown and sweet sandalwood which was like a pinkish orange. She has all the ingredients on here, um, no parabens, no extra additives, nothing like that. Like she wanted to keep everything organic, natural and just as natural as you could get which is exactly what I've been trying to do in my skincare. The directions here, she has the thing that says that it's packed with oils that moisturize your skin. And then she says, packaged and distributed by Mrs. 82 Company, Fairfax, Virginia. Like that is just, it's just so professional. Like, she doesn't have a barcode. She has the amount, um, like the expiration date, which is 12 months. So this all natural lotion will last you up to 12 months. Like no chemicals, no parabens, no additives. And this or, whoop, excuse me, this stuff will last you 12 months. Like that is a crazy good shelf life. Like I went into this whole kick where I wanted to make all of my lotions, all of, I even want to make my own toothpaste, like all my own oils. Like I wanted to everything just be natural, like natural girl, like even my own deodorant. Like I was trying to do that. And I tried to like make a lot of DIY stuff, but it just, it was so, it took so much time. It was so difficult and it was just like, it was so time intensive, like seriously, like I was too lazy for that. And then the shelf life of it, I couldn't figure out how to make it last because I mean, I don't know what I was doing with my formula, but I wasn't investing enough time into it. So it was like, I want to, I really, really, really want to use organic stuff that it's just made by hand, but I'm not trying to do it, you know what I mean? So I was so happy that he reached out and we got in contact with each other because this is exactly what I was trying to do. Like I'm trying to, to go on this natural wave, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to get back to my roots, you know what I mean? Like my, my natural hair, trying not to wear a lot of makeup. Today was an exception because I went a little overboard because I knew I was going to be filming. I, mean, I really just want to be completely natural, you know what I mean? Like I just want to have, I want to be that type of girl. You know? But anyway, so let's get into these lotions. So I'm gonna open up this Sweet Sandalwood because this is my favorite one. This is what I've been using pretty much every day. So this is it out of the box and it comes with this little pop-up lid. It's so, like the packaging is so cool, I love it. Like, I like that it's not a screw top because that's super annoying when like you're putting on lotion and then like you have to screw it back on, your hands are all slippery. But this you can just pop it closed. So that's awesome. And it's the consistency of it it's kind of like cream cheese. Ooh, that's not, I love cream cheese, but it, ooh. Now that I'm touching it, I can't stop thinking about cream cheese because it really does feel like cream cheese. What is wrong with me, man? It's kind of like, it's like a cream cheese consistency. And it is, it's so pungent. It is, it's so pungent, like, it's so good. But it spreads really easily and it kind of feels like a, like it has kind of like an oily finish to it, which I really like because my skin loves oils and my skin just soaks up oils. But look at that, look at look at the shine that it gives you. Ugh, oh, I love it. And it, woo, 
boy, it smells good. So this is it in the regular packaging, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. So it just, ugh. So you just pop it open. And it has like this little barrier thing so it doesn't move around too much. And it's just in a little box like that. So about the cream cheese consistency, I found that when I was applying it onto my dry skin, like just in the middle of the day or whatever, I was using up a lot of product in order to spread it evenly because I found that my skin was like, it was kind of like soaking it up and it was kind of like hard to spread it because I don't know, I guess my skin just like really needed it. So like I was using up a lot. So I found that when I take a shower and like I don't dry off completely and I'm still kind of damp from the shower and then I spread it on, it's a lot easier to spread it onto the skin that way when your skin is still damp from the shower and then like you end up using less product so like it'll last longer and you use less product because you don't need a lot with this because it smells so pungent, like so good, like it's just so aromatic. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Aromatic? Aromic? Aromic? Anyway, you don't need a lot because you can really, really smell it. So it's like a little bit goes a long way. So using it right after the shower, I think is really beneficial. And plus like your skin just soaks it up. Like when your skin is still hot and like your pores are open, like your skin just, it just soaks it up, you know? So I think it's like better to do it right after the shower. That's my only advice. And then she gave me the African black soap, which came in this cute little pink pouch. The only thing is, <laughs> the pink kind of sticks to the soap, but it's okay, because it just washes off. She gave me two of these, and I've been using the other one on my face recently. Um, since I moved down to Charlotte, I'm like able to actually do my skincare now, and I added this into my skincare, and I use this as my first step, and it's it has charcoal in it. So it's the black soap and charcoal, so it's like, it has exfoliating properties, I feel, because my skin, like my pores just really open up, and then I'm like really able to like get in there and get the dirt out. So like this, this junk, like I love this. I really do. And it smells, it smells like, kind of like mint slash lavender. It smells really good. And you can also use this on your body. It's a face and body bar. I'm not sure if she's selling these yet. I think she said that these were coming soon or they might already be on the website. I'm not sure. I will link it down below if they are. All right, so that's it for my review of the Mrs. 82 Company. Like I said, I love the products. I love how pungent it is. Like, you don't need to wear perfume with this, like, at all. Like, you don't even need to wear deodorant, but, you know, you didn't hear that from me. Wear deodorant, you know what I mean? But if you were to accidentally skip deodorant, I don't feel like anybody would notice because this stuff is, like, it smells so good. And it really, like, you know, your skin will thank you for it. Like, I've been caressing my hand because it feels so nice right now like it just that finish that glossy silky finish man can't beat it so thank you so much Anna y'all go get some of these products if you like this video like this video and comment if you want to see more follow me on Instagram all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video bye